do you remember that post where you kind of described like why short-term rentals will all certain types of short-term rentals will always have a competitive advantage over hotels over anything you want to talk about that real quick because i thought that that was very such a solid point if you understand human psychology yes and it happened in 08, it happened in 08 and that, you know, to 12, whatever you want to 10 to 12, whatever you want to call it. So that's why I saw it. And I know it's going to happen again during this. And here's what happens during a recession, during a crash, during a depression, during a pandemic, whatever you want to call it, families get depressed. And there's only one thing that they can do that dad, let's just call it dad's the working guy, right? Let's that dad can do to give a lollipop to his kids. And that's a vacation. Now, you cannot fly anywhere. You cannot go abroad, right? So you, basically, it's to drive to scenario. Where can mom and dad drive to? Well, you know what? They can drive to Disney World because that's open again, or they can drive to the beach. And people don't want to stay in hotels, right? So now we're combining the, I want to give my kids a lollipop, and the only way I'm going to do that is with the vacation because for that week, I can make the family feel like everything's normal again. I could take them and make them all feel good and we can bond as a family and I'll spend that money because I get my three weeks vacation and I'm going to take my family on vacation. That's what happened in the last crash. I saw it. I saw it firsthand. Disney World was packed down here in Florida. Our beach homes were packed. People didn't give a shit. They spend the money on vacation even when they don't have any money. They do it. That's their first thing they want to do because they want to make themselves feel better. Now you're combining the virus and the pandemic and people not traveling abroad and they don't want to stay in hotels because a hotel is a petri dish of who the hell knows what. So they are going to go stay in a private home. They all have new regulations that they have to disinfect these homes every week on every turn. They are clean. I actually just stayed in one a couple of weeks ago in South Carolina, the biggest hot spot besides Florida, I think, in the country. And it was great. Nobody got sick. Um, and they're going to stay that because you feel like you're in a home and you're insulated. Right. And now you're combining the lollipop theory I just described with the cleanliness and not being around other people scenario. And that's why I think private single family vacation homes will be the first to rebound. They already have. It's already proven. Um, they'll be the only ones to not lose during this scenario. Uh,